Long day lay me low Hello everybody, Jason Baskin here, Unhinged Entertainment. We are the ones who must want the position in me! Trending clicks, let me in love and accept it in right! Shape it, speed hair in the mix! Blending the 80s and 90s with me! Amateur comic book artist, professional illustrator. I'm even physically crippled with how the legs are stand. I throw that trash away because I ride like that is this in the wind. Today I am going to show you how I draw uh, Joker's Joker's head mainly, Joker's face. Um, what I say I draw because you know different styles vary, uh, various styles vary. Um, so I'm gonna jump right into it. We're gonna work in Photoshop today. It's easier to see uh, and to relate, and you can also speed up the video if you want or slow it down. Uh, we're gonna try to make it under 10 minutes or 12, whatever, the sweet spot for all the uh, video people. So let me uh, go ahead and flip the script. There you go. All right, uh, so now let me put on some eyeballs because uh, I am a bat. So, all right, this is 9 by 12 canvas here. Uh, you'll see me move around a lot. And by the way, the, I'm going to make mistakes. That's why uh, I've been drawing for a long time, but I still make mistakes. Um, I'm not one of these guys that can naturally uh, go ahead and every line is perfect. All right, what I do in Photoshop anyways, I make a new layer. Uh, I click over here and make a new layer. All right, so, so I keep that. I like the white canvas underneath. Some people... You know, they change the color of that. So the way I do Joker, the way I do uh, uh, almost everybody anyway, but I, I think about this, their head. Some people have a, you know, spherical head, you know. Some people have, you know, it, it, it shapes. Everything is a shape. So, you know, you could draw a square head, uh, you know. So, uh, but with Joker, first off, we're going to get like a, a, a crazy angle with Joker. Let's, uh, I'm going to do probably a go-to pose. We're going to. So with Joker, he's kind of a, a cylinder because he's got a skinny head. So you kind of want to skinny up his head. All right, so he's kind of a cylinder, longer head. Like like most heads would probably curve in here and come in this way. But he's got that big chin and stuff like that. So so yeah, so you got, you got his, I, I draw the shape of his head first. You know, I kind of square it off up top. And then you do the crosshairs for the eye. The hair crosshairs come in about halfway down, and then you're going to cut the head in half. Now, I want him looking kind of this way, at least his head anyway is pointed in that direction. So that's why I put the 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 line that divides the head. It's a, as you can see, there's more space over here than there is over here because he's at an angle. So so I put I, I cut I cut him in half. And you have the halfway point for his eyeballs, and then with this, he still has a, a similar anatomy structures to a regular head, where like his nose will start like halfway between here and here. You want to draw the, the 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 cross line for the nose. Pardon me, uh, I'm gonna burp, make noises. I'm a human being. What can I say? Um, and I think it's halfway down. I mean, I'm never 100 percent sure. I usually go about halfway for the mouth too, but. Uh, I, for Joker, I kind of don't put in the mouth until later. So, so there you go. So that's really the basic for his head. Now, like I said, I'm drawing a uh, uh, familiar illustration, something a go-to piece. So, um, I like to draw people hunched over quite often. It makes them a little more dynamic. And Joker is skinny and scrawny, so his back is going to be about here. So there you go. But we're mainly focusing on his head, like it'd be his shoulder. So mainly focusing on his head. Now. I have his underline drawn, and I do I do my um, layout on the underdrawing as well on this here. As you can see, I go over lines like crazy. This is the back of his head. I go over lines like crazy. It's just the way I do it, the way I work. Everybody has a different approach. Some people will just one shot it, you know, and that's fine. But uh, I tend to trace over lines a lot. And now I'm gonna place in uh, like his features. So. I, I usually start with a, uh, one of the eyeballs. I'm gonna start with, uh, what is this? My life, my left uh, screen right. 
So, uh, I, I, with Joker, let me uh, zoom in here. So, all right. So, with eyeballs, I tend to draw them on the line. Some people draw them below the line. Um, I draw them as a placement, and I also, like I said, I'm an amateur comic artist. So I do things a little wonky. Uh, I will also sometimes just go off format, but uh, we're going to draw on the line. So with some people will draw eyes like a football, I guess, but I kind of cut angles and do things, especially with uh, Joker. He's a maniacal individual. So for one of his eyes, I, I draw a dash line for like this is where his uh, his tear duct would be right here. So. I draw like a dash line to curve down, make him look angry, then a line over. So it's just boom, boom. It's kind of like a uh, kind of like a hockey hockey stick. Um, and then bottom line, it it, it you just, it's a, it's it's a V here, and then I curve slightly. So so it gives it that that because the eyeball is like pushing down on the eyelid here. So. And there you go. And that's that's his eye socket for that eye. And I like to draw him with a regular eyeball. And then, and like I said, I am going to end up like deleting things and cutting things. I edit as I go. Uh, and then with his eyebrows, I draw one really close. Some people's eye, eyebrows usually sit higher up. I draw him lower here because he's menacing. And I curve up. I could make a curve because he's a character so I, 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 I curve it a little bit when I come up to the forehead and then I angle down so it kind of looks like a bat wing almost uh, not because it's Batman related but just because it's kind of how it looks uh, so, yeah, so there you go so that's that's his one eyebrow that's, that's his one eye now with another eye I, and it doesn't matter which one I do it with so like I said, you got your crosshair here. So the, here's tear duct. Here's the other tear duct. Eyes are usually about an eye apart. This is about his eye here. So you put another eye here. So, and since it's in foreshortening, which I know I shouldn't have started with, should start head on. But uh, you, you, his other eye duct is going to start behind the bridge of his nose. So you kind of won't see that. But I like to. So he got his other eye duct, but I like to make his other eye wide open. You know, like he's. So it makes him look crazy. And let's get rid of that underline there. And he's get, you got to make sure his pupils here. You got to make sure he's kind of looking at you. And then you draw the iris there. And once again, this eyebrow is going to curve up because he's opening his eye wider. So there you go. So there's both of his eyes. Alright, like I said, I, uh, I don't know, don't do that. Alright, now his nose, Joker does have a different nose than most people. Most people's nose, they'll come just straight down almost, or angle down with a bridge, come in, and then you got your nostrils and stuff like that. Joker is very different, at least my Joker, my Joker is very different. So, my Joker, I like to, he almost has like a penguin nose, so it, it'll, the bridge will come out a little. And then I shoot out his nose. And then I point it. And I curve back and down to the where I drew the nose line here. So curve back and down. And then there's his nostril. And then it'll come up this way. So it's kind of got like a penguin nose. So as you can see, I edit as I go. All right, now here's why I don't draw in Joker's mouth because Joker is different for me. Uh, he's not a stereotypical face. So with Joker, since I, I got to be put in his nose first because then I'll draw in cheek lines. So this will establish. Now most people mouths will come about mid about mid, mid pupil, and you go straight down. That's usually where about eyeballs come or uh, mouths come in, corner of the mouth come in for most people. But Joker's got that huge grin. So you want to extend it further to almost to the side of his eye right here. So you go there and then you're going to put in a laugh line because it's going to crease right there. And he's, he curve because he's got those big choppers for the side of his mouth. Most people's mouths, they'll just come straight. 
But with Joker, it comes down because he's got big teeth. So that's this is the cheek line. So his bottom lip, or his top lip, I mean, is going to start. Here's the divide of the nose. That's where your your uh, mouth is going to start. Uh, either, uh, the, the little circle part of your mouth there. You know what I'm talking about. A little dippy thing. And then, so you draw that. That's kind of like a... I draw it straight across. A mouth will generally have more curves to it. You know, all depending. So... But I draw it straight across just because it angles it. It makes it a more villainous, uh, so to speak. So there you go. So that's his top lip. It comes straight down, and then there you go. Get rid of that. You can see it a little more. And then his bottom one, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna do a U shape, almost like a horseshoe shape. So there you go. And then it, he has a. It is an actual lip. So you're gonna go ahead and draw the part bottom half to that. And then here you have that that divide line again, that midline for the to divide his head. So you see, I double up a lot, so let me thin that out. So that's pretty much. It's not really his teeth because his teeth are set back a little. If you see from his lip, like here's that that thingy for his lip. So his teeth are inside there. So you're gonna come off of it a little bit. You're not gonna go straight down. You're gonna come off of it and off center it. And Joker has these chompers. And I like to draw a lot of teeth sometimes, more than normal. But I just make them like rectangular. You know, you could do that. Give him normal looking teeth if you want. If he's like laughing. If you want his mouth totally closed, you can extend him. You know? And give him these massive, massive biters. <laughs> Alright, there you go. And then I like to curve it when it comes closer. It makes it look like, um, like I mean, not like he's got bad hygiene, so to speak, but it, it just gives a form to the head. Like it, it gives it gives it a shape almost. If you curve it in, it, it, it makes it look, see that? All right. And then I like to draw big ears. Ears will normally go like, Normally, you go from the the what the side of the eye here to your tip of your nose, and that's usually where your ear will land. And you can still do that with Joker, but I like to, I like to, like, I like to draw big ears. I just like to do it. And if you can see, it still kind of follows that anatomy, that shape. It still goes there, but I pop them out. So, and then ears are tricky. You got your ear uh, cartilage part there, or whatever. It comes up, it folds in there, you can it disappears. You got your ear canal here. And I usually do make up parts of it. Uh, you're gonna have a little swoopy thingy. There's a thing that comes out here. I don't make them perfect. It's comic books, people. It's comics. This isn't, you know, life drawing class. Uh, so so there you go. So then there's his ear. You got an ear there. Uh, as you can see, I don't draw like the like the the question mark shape or whatever. I angle things and, and bring give them points. It's, it just adds more style for me. And then your jaw kind of comes into the back of the ear there. Uh, so I usually just use the ear lobe as a guide, the center of the ear lobe, and I just, just make a dot. That'll give form to it. And then Joker's got this big chin, so his jaw still sets in, but then it curves down to point out that chin. So there you go. And then it comes up, and then you go into the lip. All right, so there you go. There is your underdrawing for Joker's head. Now, he has hair, obviously. Uh, you, uh, look at Joker. You can see his hair comes down. He, he's kind of got some sideburns in a way, but it, it comes up, receding hairline almost. comes down. It all depends on which picture of the Joker you look at. And then you could do the animated one where he's got these wee weird thingies coming off the side of his head. All right. So you go. So that's my underdrawing, actually. That is not the finished piece. So what I do is I then re make reduce the opacity over here for my my drawing to thirty five percent, and that way I can see it. My eyes are bad, so that way I can see it. You can reduce it to however when you want. I make a new layer, and I go in and I refine. And here's where I also do a lot of editing. Uh, I, I'll I'm not totally tracing it, like as you can see. Like I, I'm adding a curve there, 
I'm gonna cut down. So, and with Joker, I like to do these cr the, his crow lines on his on the corner of his eyes, but I give him more. It, it I give him more there, and I'm gonna actually bring his eyebrow down even more. And we're gonna angle that. So, see, I edit as I go as well. So you don't have to stay totally true to that underdrawing. That's really just a, a guide. And then I'm using pen pressure to mess with thickness and stuff. So, and there's his eyelid. Comes up that way because his eyebrow is pushing down on it. And then a little highlight there for his uh, light source. And then iris. There's a lot of ways to draw an eyeball. I can go over that some other day. And now, like I, I detail also as I do these. Uh, as you can see, like I am adding this. Now, I'm not adding my little... I'll go in and I'll do stuff like this for um, shading purposes and stuff. It also just looks cool to me. I follow the rule of cool more often than I follow anything else, uh, which probably is a reason why... <coughs> um, I probably work as an amateur comic book artist. But anyway... Um, so with faces, things do set in, and there's depth and dimension. So his eye sits in, but keep in mind, like, so it's, it's down in this way, right? So his eye is sitting inside of his head, inside that eye socket there. So it's going to come in, because if you, if you even saw my face before this, I got those bags of luggage under my eyes, and you can see folds and depths. But Joker, I usually have him scowling or, like, looking angry, so... Whenever you do that, you get wrinkles. So you get that the eyebrow is going to push in this way. It's going to push things down and, and move, push up full on your flesh and fold it in. So you're going to fold it in. Now, I go to the extreme usually, and I'll fold in. Now, when you do this, also look at your face in the mirror and see where your folds are. Sometimes you get a, a thing coming in there. It comes down the nose that way. So, And I just add. I keep adding sometimes, with, especially with Joker, because... He's not a pretty dude, you know? He's not supposed to be this handsome lad. As you can see, I keep putting in folds. So that, all right, we're gonna stop at that one. Now we're gonna go over to that other eye that I made ginormous. And since it's sitting, once again, further back, I'm gonna push it in. So I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna take the bridge of his nose here. I'm gonna give that a little fold here for his eyeball that's coming. I'm gonna, this is his eyebrow area pushing in. That's that fleshy part uh, that sits above your eyeball where your eyebrow is so it gives it more depth it gives it layers and then I'm gonna put in his eye put in his eye and once again I didn't really like it I'm gonna edit as I go so we're gonna edit as we go so I make mistakes that's I am not perfect uh, so uh, to me it's good to learn from somebody maybe who doesn't who doesn't do this who hasn't been doing this for 40 years so there you go all right I kind of like that one so I have his pupil here. I'm gonna still follow that line. I'm, I'm tracing imaginary, uh, hovering over, and I'm drawing like a U shape, putting his pupil there. And I'm gonna zoom in. This is the disadvantage and advantage of digital. Uh, so I'm gonna zoom in too close to what I should. Normally you can see. Uh, I put in that, pup that uh, pupil, that little highlight. And then I like to make his uh, iris on a second, that one that's really wide, I like to make it it's not smaller, but sometimes it, sometimes I make it a little smaller. Sometimes I make it bigger, all depending on how I move. But if you look, let me get rid of that underdrawing. Let me get rid of the whole drawing. Uh, if you look, like it gives him that weird, like er, I don't know, that crazy look. So, and there you go. And then you can put in his other eyebrow, and it's going to curve and form to the, his face. So. See, he has shape to his head. So there you go. And then you got his other eyelid. His eyelid is still there. It's not gone. It's just higher up. And then that pops up. For cause he, he's, he's, if you if you do that expression, you'll see. And he still has some crow, crow feet there. And a lot of times with Joker, like there's his cheek. I'll I'll pop out that that cheek. I'll accentuate it. Let's get that nose in there. Comes down, and then out, and then boom, boom, boom. And curve it a little bit for his nostril. Now you're not gonna see his under part of his nostrils because his head is tilted down. So, and once again, this connects up in here. 
uh, your nuts will form in that way. And I'm not going to add detail, uh, like my little things, uh, my little cross hatchings. Let's put in the, his top lip, the bottom part to his top lip to add a uh, guideline for me. And then, for you too. And then the top part. You got you got that that there. You don't want to. Joker has very thin uh, upper lip. He's a very thin upper lip. Here's the uh, there's that crease there for when he's laughing. All right, and then you just I mean this underdrawing is uh, pretty decent. I, I'm just following along the guide. All right, kind of going a little fast to make this video not as long. Let's get in his teeth here. Oh, see I screwed up. Okay, I can still screw up. And I draw it. Put in his gums. And let's see here. Let's do that. And there we go. Yeah, I like that. That came out nice. Sometimes you get those happy accidents. All right. And then boom, boom. And let's get his other side. Boom, boom. Put it in his teeth. There you go. Joker doesn't have, you know, you don't have to give him perfect teeth. I Like I said, I'll add teeth. There's what? 32 teeth total, I think, but sometimes I'll have 84. You know what I mean? I'm just joking. But I'll have a lot of teeth. Oh, what I just did there, I made a selection in Photoshop, and then I hit hold down control and then press delete, and it fills in with whatever layer is your uh, top layer over here. So it's a quick guide, a quick way. It's kind of like cheating in Photoshop, I guess. It's just a quick way to fill in blacks. Now, we're going to finish out the. Um, I'm going to finish this up real quick. Uh, uh, the. Uh, Outlines, let me, I'll probably speed up the video, but, oh, see, see what I did there? All right, do, 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 do. All right so we're going to go over the underdrawing, I hit everything, oh, got to connect that down, it's too thick, there we go, all right, let's put in his hair, zoom out, and there we go. I don't. What am I doing? All right. Oh, gonna draw on that. Connect that up there. There we go. All right. So, there you go. There's my Joker. Oh, I didn't put it in his ears. Force a habit. All right. Let's do this. Make that real quick. Okay. I went real fast. I mean, I had the underdrawing in there. All right, I'm, uh, there's a couple more things I want to show. Just like with, um, like first off, I want to edit some stuff. I don't like that. Let's do this. Like I said, this is what I'm an amateur comic book artist, but professional artist actually, be, uh, professional artist because I've been drawing for 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, I rolled on. You know what, let's put that line back in there. It's this line that I don't like. This one right down here. That line I don't like. Actually, I don't like this either. Wow. See what happens when you get rid of that underdrawing. You start to see things. There we go. All right, so follow this, and that'll come down that way. There we go. All right. That's a little better. We'll fix it later, maybe. But uh, it's not bad. This could be better. This isn't my best Joker. Um, but it's just how I draw them, usually. Now, with Joker, you still have laugh lines. So this comes down this way. You're going to have his chin come in that way. You know, this will sink in. His chin is still there. I kind of ugly him up. I want to do this. Let's do this. There we go. Alright, let's see, that's a little better. You, you make... People that are... When you draw, like, villains or people that are, like, evil or crazy, you sometimes a small pupil will make them look more maniacal, more uh, evil. So... And then I'll go in and I'll add some lines. And I'll add some, like... Now, I'm working with pen pressure, so these lines are thinner than the other ones. And this little shadow there coming down. You know what it is? I, I just realized it's his teeth. It's his bottom teeth here that are throwing me off. Alright. There we go. Eh, 
Like I said, not my best Joker, but I, I, not everything I do is flawless. All right, so you're going to add some uh, crinkles to his forehead. And there you go. This is pretty much it. So this is pretty much how I draw Joker. Uh, we'll start with that basic shape you saw and uh, just start to go in and add those uh, other tools, those other uh, methods that uh, most people do use. Most people do use that, uh, you know, that method of a head, crosshair, 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 crosshair. I think this is like, this line here is about three quarters of the way down. So, and then, you know, eyeballs apart, one eye apart, nose falls in the tear ducts, side of the mouth does that way. So, that's the general rule. And with that, if you, you can do this basic shape, right? You can have that, and then you can you can use that any which way you want. Then. Like even like here's the thing. So here's this here's his nose. There you go. And there's the divider. Divider. Boom. Uh, so you saw us do the three quarter view there. Uh, so yeah. And then with me, like I'll go in and I'll noodle and I'll play and I'll add shadow and just weird cross hatchy lines and my own little details and sometimes they're inaccurate sometimes they're wrong sometimes they're right um i mean mcfarlane calls it adding the sexy uh i, I mean that term's pretty funny i'll uh, over here because this is like like this from his bottom so let's actually pop that in add a little crease there that'll give it a little more depth shadow since the light might hit this area and cause a shadow here so there you go and you can even dirty up his teeth a little bit if you want just add some lines and a little gummy gum gummy gum uh, this is bothering me there we go so and then I'll I'll go in and I'll add my little cross hatchings to add depth a little shadow or make it, it just kind of looks really cool. Uh, with this eyeball here, you know what, we're going to fix this a little bit. I think it's too high up. And once again, power Photoshop. There we go. It was too high up. Okay. And then we're going to put his eyelid back in there. His eyes kind of popping out of that socket. There's that bottom eyelid. And he's got these bags under his eyes, kind of, because he's Joker. Uh, you don't want to. You can give him a lot. Or you can give him a little. You can darken it up. There's a million different kinds of jokers, you know, comic wise and movie wise. People like they. Le I like Heath Ledger's one, but I, I mainly go for the Jim Lee, slash Greg Capullo, uh, um, Jonathan Wayshack has drawn Joker a few times. Uh, I'm influenced by Jonathan Wayshack, but uh, I tend to go off the Jim Lee Joker and the Capullo Joker. So those are those are kind of like my styles that I combine, uh, and then I, I see I go in and I add my little details, my shadows. Um, I can maybe go over that a little bit uh, on another video. So add more lines there, and we'll even bring in his nose more. Add some depth to that. Okay. Now, a colorist will also come in. You could have left it the way it was, and you can, you know, colorists are really good at what they do, and they can come in and make your piece look dope. It's all get out. Uh, so, I didn't go into his cheek here. You can go into that a little more. Add some more things there. Uh, you can even put in his neck if you want. Have him come over more. He's got a thin neck. Get him up. I mean, we're not going over this right now. See, see, this is what I do, though. I'll doodle. I'll just keep going. Um... So that's pretty much the extent of it. Uh, that's how I draw the Joker. Uh, now that's how I draw the Joker. You can draw the Joker any way you want. You can you can look at sources, look at comics, look at uh, animation, look at people. Um, some people will tell you to draw from comics. Some people will tell you to draw from real life. I'm kind of a person like take in as much as you can from everywhere you can. I can draw a normal head. I can draw a human face just fine. Um, but once you know how to do that, you can kind of contort and distort things and make them look cool. So, and that's what I like to do. I like to uh, stretch things out and make them look fun. So, I uh, hope you liked the video. Uh, check out my comic. 
Frog G. Frog G, colored by Ink Spots, created by uh, co-created by Ink Spots, me and Frog G himself. So, uh, Frog G was the main, main person involved in creating the character. So go check it out. I will leave you with the trailer. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will check you again on the next one. Have a great one. Bye. We've all read the story. The brave hero conquers the diabolical villain and rescues the damsel in distress. But this is real life, and in real life, stories don't always have happy endings. Frog G, the story of a man turned into a frog by a voodoo priestess sent on a mission to kill a god by death itself. Now our hero must roam the underworld to regain his humanity and win back the woman he loves.